Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends this is Gunjan here and today we are going to learn how to deal with the king's gambit. Now when I start my chess career I was an e4 e5 player until I meet the king's gambit and uh, I was so afraid and I lost so many games that I completely switched my opening repertoire from e5 to e6 or the c6 and that can be the case of many. Uh, the reason is King's Gambit is a, a quite a bit attacking opening and not only that there are many lines uh, I have to say uh, many complex lines exist inside the King's Gambit which are very hard to play as a second player and especially white has prepared all the lines then it will be very difficult for black to take a good position out of it. Anyways uh, in today's lecture, uh, we'll learn how to completely diffuse the King's Gambit and uh, the lines which I have suggested, they are not attacking lines but what those lines can provide you is a very safe and a sound opening which you can come out against the King's Gambit and a second player can look forward for an equal or slightly more than equal middle game. Okay, so let's start. The king's gambit occurs when white plays e4 and here there are few ways where king's gambit can be occurred. Black can either play e5 and black responds with the f4. This is a proper king's gambit and the another way is black can play a knight c6 which is a Nimzovich defense and after f4 black replies with the e5. Now as usual uh, in this in this opening there are many traps exist uh, by the way the system I'm recommending to you is known as Adelaide counter to give you a brief history uh, this counter was initially introduced at the Adelaide and it won a consolation prize and during that time people were thinking that this is a complete reputation to the King's Gambit but nevertheless in recent years there, ha there have been some research done on this and uh, some players have come out with uh, very good lines for the white as well. So I have considered all those approaches and I have covered every single thing over here. So you do not need to worry. Okay. So here uh, as usual uh, every single line has some opening chest traps and uh, this line is not apart from that. So here uh, if especially if your opponent is playing in three minutes of bullet game uh, if you likely to make this mistake which is f cross e5 we have this stunning move queen check and if the g3 then we have we nab the rook in the corner and if king goes to e2 then we can give this check and after king goes to f2 we can give this bishop c5 check and white king will not survive longer so there is a one trap existing here which you should always look out anyways the more general response will be uh, knight f3 and here comes the adelaide counter uh, start with the move f5 now you can see over here the tension has been built up in this four squares and there are every chance that white can goes wrong over here and i have covered each and every single line from here onwards so for example, uh, what we will do first is we'll go to go through the least dangerous to the most dangerous reply of the white. Okay, so the least dangerous or I, I have to say it's a, a blunder move by white which is knight cross e5 and uh, it's a very easy line here from onwards for the black. So black will first capture the knight and after white recapture we again go to our main trap which is queen h5 and again if the g3 then the rook loses and if the king comes forward we will give this check and after king f2 we will play bishop c5 so again you will you will always look out for those kind of traps anyways after uh, f cross e5 uh, again this is also a one kind of blunder move because black can reply with the f cross e4 and now you can see that knight does not have any good squares and the only square left is knight has to go back 
and there are many variation exist from here onwards but the, I recommend the very simple one is you capture that pawn and black is a pawn up and please note queen check does not do any harms to the black because black knight can come back and after knight c3 black can play knight f6 and you can see it's not only attacking the queen but once the queen goes back we can look forward for the d5 so those two lines are not at all good for the white so let's uh, look at some serious approach by the white so for example uh, white can play this passive move which is d3 well it's d3 it uh, looks uh, solid and good for the white but the main drawback is you can see this bishop is no longer comes out and that means white has a very least chance of attacking and a uh, very simple and equal game can be go like this so black, black will respond with a d6 and after uh, knight c3, knight f6, bishop e2, bishop e7 both the side castle and we have uh, equal middle game happens okay that is d3 now let's see some of the aggressive reply of the white so white can play this move which is e cross f5 now against this we will transposition of a line to a uh, more superior version of folk beer counter gambit and where here black plays e4 and after knight to e5 we'll play knight f6 i will show you one of my game which will give you a rough idea how to handle this positions so my opponent plays knight c3 i play d5 and here he plays bishop b5 i protect by my knight by queen to d6 and after he played d3 i grab the pawn bishop takes f5 and after he castle i played a6 so now he captured my knight i recapture and then he captured my pawn i recapture with the knight and after rook to e1 i played bishop to e7 and you can see the position is roughly balanced but i prefer black because it has a more space in the center and nevertheless black will castle short uh, in the next move so that will be a very easy game for the black okay so that is e cross f5 now here uh, the most logical reply by the white is knight to c3 but against this we have two good lines so what we are going to do here first we are going to capture this pawn so you can see it's pressurizing the knight so here white has a two reply if knight cross e5 then again in one of my game uh, I played knight f6 and after bishop b5 I played knight to d4 attacking the bishop so he retrieved the bishop then I played c6 so blunting the diagonal and then once he castle I played bishop c5 going for the discovery so he is he parked his king in the corner his king to h1 and then I castle and now you can see uh, my very simple planning is to go d6 and d5 and uh, black will have a very good game from here onwards so there is a one sample line can rounds if the opponent take with the knight cross e5 now here after this capture there is another move for the white which is knight takes e4 uh, well against this uh, black get a very very comfortable and probably um, more than equal game so black can play d5 and after the knight goes to c3 we can play e4 and after knight to e5 knight to f6 you can see a very easy game for the black is and see this see these two pawns they are giving a good space to the black uh, I stated earlier that there has been some research has done on this line and uh, the recent approach are very aggressive and uh, one of the IM uh, one of the very popular IM has suggested a move is known as d4 so it's a system against the delayed counter now against this uh, uh, in his video he suggested only f cross e4 which I don't agree with him the the correct move here is e cross d4 and here white has a few reply now let's deal with them one by one so first move is if white can play e5 well against this very simple line 
you play bishop e4 check and after bishop d2 you play bishop c5 and uh, this is one of my game so my opponent plays c3 I play knight a6 and after queen c2 I play d6 so he grabbed the pawn I, I grabbed the pawn with the bishop and uh, here he played knight c3 I played knight to g4 attacking the f2 uh, that leads forcefully capturing my bishop and then I recapture with the knight and after queen check my knight comes back and after he recaptured the pawn I take with the queen and here he done a queen side castle so again you you can expect this kind of thing from the attacking player of the king's gambit well uh, there's no need to worry over here because I simply played bishop to e6 and after he played bishop to e3 attacking my queen I simply put it to b4 and you can see the opening turns out very well here and I am already attacking his bishop initially I won this game so that's a simple line if uh, e5 happens white can here capture the pawn so e cross f5 well against this I propose you play bishop to c5 and a simple line runs like this so bishop d3 knight f6 and the both the side castle and here the position is roughly equal but I prefer black because the d pawn is cramping white knights to come out and not only that it's very hard for white to get the d pawn and uh, it's more easier for the black to get the f pawn so that is e cross f5 now the more aggressive reply is knight cross d4 and against this I propose you play knight f6 and again there are two lines goes from here if your opponent play e5 then I suggest you play knight takes and after queen takes you play knight e4 now you can see there is a nasty trap looming which is bishop to c5 and if your opponent is careless you can trap him with this move but anyways if your opponent going to play this move bishop to e3 then you can play bishop to c5 anyways and after queen to d3 you can simply capture that bishop and after queen recapture you can play d5 and you can again you can see the king's gambit has been totally diffused and black emerged with a very superior position the last aggressive reply is uh, white can greedily capture another pawn so after knight f6 white can go with this knight cross f5 well against this I propose you take the pawn knight cross e4 and uh, you don't need to worry about the diagonal so uh, for example white can play this bishop to d3 but here simply you can drop back the knight to f6 and a simple line uh, can go, turns like this so this has happened in one of my game so my opponent plays castle over here I give the check uh, he plays bishop to e3 I capture the bishop then he recapture by the knight and then I play d5 and uh, now you can see by the arrow I'm threatening to go d4 so that will embarrass the knight so he played c3 and I castle and you can see black has a two open file to walk out a good attack I hope you enjoy my video and learn how to simply diffuse the king's gambit the lines which I have shown you are very safe and the most important thing is uh, it will frustrate the attacking players of the king's gambit and you have all chances of getting a win out of it well best of luck for playing this line and feel free to comment on my video I'll meet you soon bye